You have only two weeks to do this. One of the first things you need to do as soon as you arrive in Germany is to register your apartment. Now, there are so many things that are tied to this registration. So, opening your bank account, extending your visa, some contracts that you may need to sign are all going to be tied to you registering your apartment. So, you want to do this as quickly as possible. By law, you have two weeks to register your apartment. Whether you are coming into Germany for the first time or you are simply just changing apartments, you have two weeks to do this and everyone registers their apartment, be it German citizens or foreigners. When you move from one apartment to another apartment, you need to go register that apartment. If you are moving into the city for the first time, what you are going to be doing is an Meldum. An Meldum. If you are just changing your apartment from one apartment to another apartment in the same city, what you will be doing for your registration would be um meldum, which is moving registration for moving, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> now, if you are leaving Germany, you have to deregister. If you are leaving the country entirely, you have to deregister, which is ab meldum. Now, when you move from one city to another city, you are automatically deregistered from the previous city that you are in. Once you're registered in a new city, the abmeldung is already done by you doing anmeldung in another city. However, if you are leaving Germany completely, you have to go deregister, and that would be abmeldung. Now, the registration of your apartment is called von anmeldung, like I have said, von anmeldung or von ummeldung or von abmeldung. <laughs> See, I should be a German teacher already with my rubbish German. <laughs> With a German, I don't know how to speak, but at least I know this one. So, the registering is called von Anmeldung, and it is done at the Burger Amt by the Burger Bureau, which is simply the citizen's office. It is not the same thing as the Auslander Amt or the Auslander Beholder, which is the foreigner's office. So, for your registration for your apartment, you are going to the Burger Amt. For your <laughs> foreigners, discussion anything regarding your foreigners foreigner interaction whatever you are going to the Auslander amt you can find your citizen's office as a burger amt by just simply doing a google search so for example if you are living in say berlin you can just simply type burger amt berlin and it will show you all the it'll show you the offices for the burger amt yeah even if you make a slight mistake google is generally smart <laughs> and they just correct it but if you do that, you can find that. Alternatively, there's a free service provided by the Deutsche Post that helps you find government offices around you. It's called omtn.de. I'll put the link to that in the description and you can simply just click on it. Now, when you click on the site, you will just simply type in the postal code for your apartment. With that postal code, it will generate the government offices around you. Then you can click on Burger Amps. There you'll find their contact address, their telephone numbers, email addresses, and the website. If you find on that list, if you find Einwohnermeldamt, simply just go to the Einwohnermeldamt because that's where you're going to anyway. But if you don't find that, if you only find the Burger Amt or the Burger Bureau, then just click on that. For some cities, you have to call to make an appointment. For other cities, you can just make the appointment directly online on the website. So it is important that you make this appointment because especially with the current situation that the world is still in, most offices expect you to make an appointment before you are being seen. Now, if you haven't given this video a thumbs up, this would be a good time to do so. It's a nice gesture to me as it tells YouTube that you're enjoying this video and you can share it to other people. I'll appreciate it. Thank you. Now, the documents that you will need to go with are your international passport and your Wohnungsgeber Bestätigung. It's a mouthful. <laughs> These words. <laughs> that is simply a confirmation from your landlord that you are allowed to live in that apartment. Now, before now, you could go with your housing contract. That's all that's required. But recently, they only accept your um, confirmation from the landlord, which is the 
Wohnung wir bei Bestätigung. <laughs> Now, the landlord is required by law to give you this document. Some landlords might not give you mail, probably they forgot or something. If they don't give it to you, request for it because that is what you'll be needing to register at the Vonamel Dam. Now, this confirmation means that you can't use a temporary accommodation for this registration. It means you can't use an Airbnb or a hotel, for example. Now, it is understandable that once you come into Germany, you might not have an apartment immediately, but you need to find that apartment before you can register because you can't use a temporary apartment, like I've said, say um, Airbnb, for example. Next document is the Amnadung form. Now, while a lot of offices recently don't require the Amnadung form again, at least for example, in Wuppertal, You don't need an Ameldung form. Just come with your, just make the appointments, then come with your passport and the confirmation from your landlord and you get there and that's it. They do the registration for you. Some other um, cities require you to come with the Ameldung form. So you print out the form and you fill it and you take it there. There you fill all the different information, of course, that is um, there. I'll put a link to that form in the description again so that you can easily get that form and print it and fill it and print it and you know and use it. Generally, when you make the appointment, there will be a checklist of the things that they expect you to come with for the appointment. They will expect you to come with your passport, you know, tax tax, tax. They'll write it down there for you so you can already see what you are coming with. Do you understand? So if you need the Amedung's form, please go to the description box and get it now if you think you need help with translating german then go with someone who will be translating for you a lot of the offices would not talk to you in english they won't talk to you in german however personally i have survived without going with any translator even from the first time i came to germany i have always got gone there and in the beginning when they first start talking and i say i don't understand german i'll be like <laughs> I'll be like, I'll ask them to speak in English for me. Some people have been nice enough to talk to me in English. Some other people are like, no, it's most special Deutsch. <laughs> it's most special Deutsch. <laughs> My German is even terrible. <laughs> But before I got to the people that were not, that were refusing to speak to me in English, I, I already have, um, I've already gotten a basic idea of what and what and what, you know, is being asked and been able to put one and two together by myself so personally i've been able to survive without a translator in these um, offices and i believe you can do that as well but but don't take my word for it if you need a translator please go with one to make your life easier next thing is to make sure that you arrive for your apartment on time i would suggest that you are there at least 15 minutes before your appointment Some offices will tell you to be there 10 minutes before your appointment. I would say to be there at least 15 minutes. The reason is that there's usually, there's usually a very long queue <laughs> in this office. I don't know why, or probably it's just the offices that I have personally gone to, the cities that I've gone to, but there's usually a long queue. So just go early so that you are able to um, be there on time for your appointment. Now, when you get into the building, Usually, depending on the office, like I said, depending on the city that you are in, either you just go to a machine and press on the button for the machine and it gives you a number. That, that number is what you would be looking to hear or to see. The number will come up on a screen where you will see, okay, this is, the, this is it's your time to go in and this is the seat number that you will be going to. This is the office number that you'll be going to. So you have to look out for that. Some other offices, you have to meet the guys at the front desk, give them your appointment um, document <laughs> that shows that you have an appointment because usually when you get the appointment, you'll be given something, a printout or something that you can um, print out and come with, you know. Then you show those guys and then they'll probably they'll put your number on the computer to register that you're here and then that number will show up on the screen whichever the case is if it's your first time of of course i imagine that it's your first time i would say that you ask questions once you get there ask what should we be doing where am i getting my number 
So if it means if you have to meet someone at the front office to give you your number, then you do that. And if the um, office demands that you take it from the machine, then you do that. Depending on how big the city is, most big cities will just have a machine there where you will get your number by yourself. Smaller cities um, might not do that. But the most important thing is once you have your number, be looking out for it because it will pop up on the screen. Nobody's going to call your name something, something. <laughs> Nobody's going to call your name to come and <laughs> register. Your number will just pop up. And if you don't go at that time, uh, I don't know. Some people might be mean and just say, just go back. You've missed it or something. Some other people might just shout and say, you've been called, you know, something like that. But look out for that. Now, I have to tell you that going to any government office here can be a nightmare. So make sure that you go with everything that you need. Put together all your stuff on time and make sure you have everything that you need. And just be patient. Be calm. <laughs> don't get easily riled up like, why is this person doing this? What, what, what? Just be calm and don't let anything get on your nerves. Just be relaxed and everything will be over before you say Jack Robinson. Now, the registration in itself would only take about five to ten minutes it doesn't take as much time really less than five minutes and you are done with this registration now i hope this video has been helpful if you have any questions please put them in the comment section i'll be there to answer them as quickly as i can and i'll see you guys in my next video do have a fantastic time guys bye